Hey, what's going on guys? NSC85 and I'm working on another project down in the shop and I wanted to make a video on it because if you remember a little while back I did a video on how to dimple your barrel for a low profile gas block for the set screw kind and a fellow and local Minnesotan by the name of Jake Carlson of BRD Engineering um, got a hold of me and he sent me some fantastic jigs and I'm going to show you how to use them on my uh, my Mega Arms SPR barrel. I'm building a, a Mega SPR so let's first talk about how the gas block lines up to the gas port so typically your gas block will sit on the barrel like this and I have videos on how to line up the gas block and everything like that but this really takes any and all guessing right out of it if you look on this hole, this hole, when they make the gas block, the gas port hole in the gas block is drilled from this hole. So every gas block is going to have the gas port directly in line with this, this hole here. So typically what I would do before I would get this tool was I would spin this 180 degrees so I would center the gas port in the barrel over this hole then I knew what distance to set this off of the shoulder and usually it was about a thickness of a thumbnail so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna slide this jig over and I'm gonna drill the two dimples and by the way this jig which is available at brdengineering.com it's also available on uh, Bravo Company and Rainier Arms but I will have all the information down below of course in the information box but there is his information there Okay, so you can pause it if you need to write that down or anything. Um, but what this does is this lines up everything completely correct and then allows you to do dimples. And this is available, let's see, this fits any gas block that is 0 0.460 center to center. And that includes Rainier, BCM, Voltor, LaRue, Fortis. And then, like I said, you can use this for any other gas block because that first hole is going to be directly in line with the gas port. And what I mean by that is this screw here is pointed. And when you slide this over and you screw this down, this will self-center directly into the gas port on the barrel. So you know that that dimple is going to be exact where it needs to be. Now this other set screw is just rubber tipped and that is to secure it in place. So literally all you need for dimpling your barrel with this is you need the jig, of course. Uh, you need an 11 and 64 inch drill bit. And then you can use a drill press or a hand drill. I'm just gonna use this electric battery powered Craftsman 20 volt something or other drill. I'm not a tool guy, believe it or not. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then in a separate video, I'm going to show how to pin the gas block on. And what I mean by that is using this jig to go directly through the gas block, through the bottom, very slight portion of the barrel, and then out the other side, and then pinning it in place. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm using a megalithic upper receiver and it's rifle length but with a rifle length gas system the gas block is exposed about this far so I don't want that moving on me or if it gets banged to uh, to get out of alignment so being dimpled properly and pinned um, it's gonna be completely rock solid so let's go ahead and get started on dimpling your barrel with the BRD engineering gas block dimpling jig. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and take the pointed screw out and I'm going to slide this over the barrel. And I'm going to line it up until that hole is perfectly centered. And as you can see, if I were to put this all the way up against the shoulder, which is where the gas block would typically be, notice how the gas port is going to be slightly off center. So that's what's nice about this. I can put it right in the center just like so 
and then go ahead and insert, insert the self-centering tip and this doesn't need to be screwed down to extreme tightness it just needs to center the jig in that gas block hole so just until it's tight now this other one I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down a little bit tighter because I don't want the jig to move at all of course and there we go so that is not going anywhere so now this is going to be properly spaced because it's direct center in the gas port and we're just gonna take the 1164 drill bit and we're gonna drill this one and we're gonna drill this one and literally all we have to do is just drill it until it's just the depth of the tip of the drill bit so not very far at all should be pretty easy but there's two flat spaces on the jig so it allows you to put it right in the vise so that's what I'll go ahead and do now okay so I have this nice and secure in the vise and my drill my drill bit here I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, CLP just as some cutting fluid here and then just using slight pressure just go ahead and drill it out you just want to go slow and make sure that you're not drilling too deep of course because you don't want to ruin your barrel just take your time do a little bit and take it out do a little bit more take it out till uh, it's good to go all right so that looks pretty good to me I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from vice you can see the nice dimples there I just went until they pretty much became the circumference of the jig hole and I figured that was good enough. So now I'll take this off and see what it looks like. Okay, so we're going to go ahead after we got done drilling there and remove the screws. And there are our beautiful dimples. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Directly in line where they need to be. Let me wipe this off quick. And I can tell you right now that was a heck of a lot easier than doing it the way I did it in my previous video, but you can also do it that way. But for those of you who don't know, when you put on your your gas block and it's secured by these two tiny little set screws, what this dimple allows for is that the set screw rests inside there and that makes it so it's not going to twist on you. But as you can see it uh, didn't take much time, it probably took me literally about five minutes and I know that this is perfectly aligned, centered, and set up for the gas block. So stay tuned for the the next video, you may have to search for it, but that'll be for pinning the gas block onto the barrel. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you found it helpful. Remember to check me out on Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz at nsz85 or slash nsc85 have a great day